in a huddle and they are going through some pre-match rituals. Done beholding starting 11, Damien Hyatt in goal, Ricardo Thomas, the captain, Shavoy Watkins, Zakia Wilkes, Shaquille Powell, Alex Gale, Shevan James, Rajay Smith, Rohan Brown, Stephen Barnett, and the man wearing number 10, Nicholas Nelson for coach Lenworth, teacher high, still on a high from last night's performance of Clarendon College in that Dacosta Cup final, dismantling Glenmuir in an eight-goal thriller. Yeah, dismantling is an adjective you'd love to use today in this 4-4-2 formation. But yeah, Nicholas Nelson in top form and finding a nice partner in Barnett. Let's see if they can get that chemistry going up front. For Tivoli, they're all in. This is the starting 11 that Jerome Wade has penciled in for today. Nicholas Clark in goal, Odin Pennycook, Barrington Price, Richard Brown, Alton Lewis, Alkaline, Nakeel Wright, Justin Dunn, Jane Ray, Kevin Garnett, Keno Simpson, Nakalia Fuller, a four Jerome Wade, number 10, Radiko Wellington, watch him on the bench, and number six, Neat and Tidy, Horatio Morgan. Yep, very expressive going forward. And yeah, look out for them. Two for Tivoli, two for Nicholas Nelson, two for Dunby Holden. It ends all square. Sun was hot by the time we were sent underway. And Gale bursting forward, the first chance. And Nicholas Clark off his chest. Smith, Nelson off his chest. Plays it, the, the dummy by Barnett, and then Smith couldn't steer it goalwards. And then from free kick range, Nicholas Nelson. Ooh, how delicious was that? You can have that with your Sunday dinner. And you won't eat a slice of cheesecake because that's sweet enough. That was goal number one. Gale across. Look at this now. Twisting Barrington Price this way and that. And then Nicholas Nelson. Finds the back of Clark's neck. Good work by Shaheen Powell. And then leaving it to the marksman to do the rest. And he finished with a plum. That looked pretty. The Dunby Holland bench loved it. But then Tivoli struck back because Stephen Barnett wrestled Tivoli man to the floor. Looked to have been Barrington Price and Justin Dunn from 12 yards. No mistake. Sending the keeper the wrong way. The league's leading marksman with his eighth of the season. Keena Simpson couldn't direct his shot for goal. One. Well, he directed the goal, but without power. Second half, well, still first half. Gale driving that forward, but Nicholas Clark in a good position. Then the second half, Alton Lewis flings this towards the goal. Didn't clear the header. Look at that first touch and second touch by Justin Dunn. You're going to see it again from this angle. Look at this first touch to take the ball down. The second touch and the third was decisive. Fired it in. Threw some bodies in blue. And then the body in yellow. Or green if you may. Well, yellow and green. Damien Hyatt couldn't keep it out. His second of the afternoon. His ninth of the season. Then Fuller from free kick range. Had Hyatt flying. And then Fuller once again will help to create this chance. Done on a platter for Horatio Morgan. He nods the breeze. Everybody thought that one would have gone in. And then from this play, Justin Dunn rockets it goalwards. Hyatt got in the way with his big frame and fell heavily. Had to get some treatment, Damien Hyatt. And then this last chance, Horatio Morgan again. And Thompson, the second half substitute. The substitutes combining. And Thompson just couldn't get a foot on it. Tivoli rampant late in the second half, pushing for the victory. Thompson again to Morgan. Hyatt with the save with his legs. Tivoli, coulda, woulda, shoulda. Jerome Wade cutting Latin on the bench. And Andrew Hayden called the time at about 95 minutes. Don't be holding. There were 21 shots, five on target for both teams. There were 45 fouls. Wow. There were eight yellow cards, 14 corners, even split. Saves, even split, three apiece. Tivoli, 53% possession. Chris Taylor has our man of the match, Justin Dunn, pitch side.
Justin, another man of, the, man of the match performance for you as well. You just can't stop scoring nine goals on the season. Assess your performance today for me. Uh, um, well, I think we start very flat. I just see them bowling score two on us in the first half, and we got a penalty. And in the dressing room, we told ourselves that second half will coming out and display a better performance for the Tivoli Guard FC. From in Tivoli. Fact, you, you mentioned a flat start to the, to the first half, and I totally agree. In fact, the penalty kick, I think, was arguably your first touch of the game. Yeah. Were you nervous before the kick, or, or you used no, it? No, I, never, um, I wasn't nervous because in the link up, I missed a penalty against Ayat and I took the responsibility and told myself I want to do it and, and I score. Tell me what would have transpired at half time because obviously you must have got a strong talking to from Jerome Wade. How is it what is it like working under him as a head coach? Um Jerome Wade, he demands a lot from his, um, his players and he also about the physical aspect of the game. Alright, you look at this two all result, do you think that's a fair result? Um, I think in the latter end, we get some opportunities that we could uh, win the game easily, but unfortunately, it wasn't to be. And you're maybe just an inch away from that hat-trick. You've already scored one hat-trick this season against Arnett Gardens. What do you thought about that strike from about, what, 25 yards out? Um, I think, watching it just now, I think I have a lot of more space could have bring the ball, but I took the opportunity and hit it from there. All right, keep going from strength to strength. Congrats on your performance. Enjoy your goals and get some rest. Okay, thank you. Justin Dunn.